highest number of cases of any state reporting those figures. So the state now taking new action on it. Let's welcome in State Health Commissioner Dr. Mary Bassett. Dr. Bassett, good to see you again. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Um, so the latest thing you've done, uh, you, the health department, you've labeled monkeypox an imminent threat to public health. First off, what does that literally mean uh, for local governments especially? Well, it has two purposes. So one is that when we call something an imminent threat to public health, it, it emphasizes the importance of this as of monkeypox as a public health issue. And the other thing is uh, that it enables uh, more rapid release of financial resources, something that local health departments need to mount the vaccination efforts that um, that they're being asked to, to mount. Uh, so it's both a, mm -hmm. a call to action uh, and it's practically uh, has fiscal impact. Um, I, I want to go a little bit deeper on that idea of really that kind of call to action um, because all of our viewers can, can pay attention to that. The finances are more for politicians. Um, when you use this kind of declaration, um, how serious is monkeypox? Uh, what are we talking here for, for all of our viewers here? What should they know? How serious should they be taking this? Well, you started out by pointing out that the United States has a rapidly increasing number of cases. It's really hard for me to imagine that it's only been two months since mm. we identified our first case of monkeypox in, in the state. And now we have close to 1,400 cases, mm. 94 of them outside of New York City, and the bulk of them, over 90% of these cases, have been diagnosed in New York City. So that's one thing about monkeypox that's been unusual. It's spreading rapidly in our country and it spread rapidly globally. It was in early May that the first cases were identified in Europe and we now have it on every continent. So uh, that's one thing. The other is that it's presenting in ways that don't match the textbook mm. of monkeypox. Uh, monkeypox was long described as an endemic disease in about a dozen uh, West and Central African countries. Uh, uh, occasionally we would get imported cases and it just stopped there. Uh, we had a small outbreak in the United States related to infected animals because we believe that the host is, uh, is an animal. Uh, not, not a monkey, by the way. That's why some people wow. are making a case that we support of changing the name from monkeypox. Mm -hmm. uh, so now it's clearly spreading uh, through sexual contact. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's presenting as a less uh, generalized rash. Uh, people have rashes in more specific areas, including a very uh, delicate, mm -hmm. um, sensitive areas mm -hmm. or just a single lesion on their right. mouth. And finally, um, it is uh, occurring um, predominantly among uh, men who have sex with men. And this has been true across the country and around the world. It's a contagion that spreads from skin to skin contact. Anyone can get monkeypox. Dr. Bessie, uh, you mentioned though predominantly in that in that one group, but but should we all be on guard for this virus? That's a really good question. And it's clear that it's spreading through sexual contact. And I think it's just a good general rule for all of us to uh, seek relationships in which we can have frank conversations uh, with the people uh, with whom we have sexual relations and uh, you know be feel free to ask people questions mm -hmm. about how how they live what they do uh, but at the moment we really are overwhelmingly seeing uh, cases diagnosed in, in among men who have sex with men uh, but that's not for a biological reason mm -hmm. it's because this virus got into a certain social network uh, it, it, it won't be limited to uh, men who have sex with men. I think we've all learned that from other contagions. State Health Commissioner Dr. Mary Bassett. Dr. Bassett, thanks so much for, for enlightening us a little bit more um, on what we're dealing with with monkeypox. We really appreciate your time. Thanks very much for having me.